So I came to the strong realization today that eventually, many years from now, I am going to die. And however it may be, I'm going to go with a legacy and a bang, leaving something behind, but I need all of you to take care of something important for me. So I wrote you this beautiful descriptive section of my freshly printed will, part three. Dear friends and family, when I pass away on my 30,000th day of living, I want you not to cry, not to mourn, but to throw the best kick-ass funeral that anybody has ever attended. Close the coffin, no, leave it open. Just don't let them screw with my makeup or fuss with my hair. Less is always more. Let them say, hey, that's the girl from high school with the curly brown locks. She told me that I had a nice smile, and then they'll smile. Do not arrange it in a funeral parlor or a church. I am not a government official. I am a poet. Place it in a park, somewhere public, an ice cream parlor. Get my dead body in trouble with the local police force. And then show them this descriptive letter and tell them they better learn to leave alone this subject tone. The people who have the power to haunt them from their grave. That should be enough. Do not serve crabby vanilla blueberry cake, sad cookies, or tearjerker punch. This is not a middle school dance. Bring in a barista, an open bar, a sushi chef, a dance floor. Tell them, stop crying. This is what she would have wanted. Start dancing if you're uncomfortable. She always did. Play good music. This is a demand, not a request. Concoct something between my playlists. Play a few of my mom, dad, and sister's favorites. Read a few words of mine. Read them in funny voices. Exclaim, she's not gone. Give her 200 years. She'll be a literary household name. It's always that way. Play back quality Saturday Night Live skits on, pro on a projecting screen. Bring in those people that handle exotic pets. Tell them, never held a snake? It feels really cool. Pet the baby Liger. Its name is probably Napoleon. She always did like animals, especially horses. There's an ASPCA donation box in the back if you're feeling generous on the way out, but please don't leave yet. Tell them she was never a party person. The concept escaped her. Tell them, but she liked people. She always liked people. Tell them they were important to me. Chances are they probably were important to me. Tell them to tell their loved ones that they love them. When these situations arise, you wish you would have said it more often. Tell them, take them all out in a field. Give them yellow balloons, not white, yellow. Tell them, write something on it to her. Do not write your sad feelings. Nobody wants your sad feelings. Write your most quality pickup line. Write the cheesy joke you told your waiter last night. Tell them, let them go. Then let them go all at once. Take a picture of it. Say she was the luckiest girl in the world. Give them the notes I have handwritten them. I know who will be there. Tell them, this is for you. If there is no note for them, just tell them thank you. And when everything is cleaned up, done and over, I want you to take home the leftover food. And I want you to tip the DJ. And I want you all to remember how much that I love you.